We're going to be doing hot joins. I'm not about to be sued. They would take my plushies and that's all they're going to get. So we're doing hot joins where we asked you guys to give me some questions and we have an assortment of wings. This kind of sounds like a popular YouTube series. Oh my God, like where did this come from? With each question, we eat a wing and as we go on, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. I have ordered them the not hottiest. <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> From the not hottiest to the hottiest? No Megan Thee Stallion, sorry we don't have Megan Thee Stallion in the stream. Do I have to, I have to eat it first and then answer the question? So the first one that we have, first of all, I'm black. So regular hot sauce is like seasoning. I'm very confident that I'm going to be okay with this. 500 Scully, so we're all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is regular. You know what I'm saying? This is Caesar. This is, this is easy. Would you ever consider pursuing voiceover work? Um, yeah. I feel like I would have fun doing that. I just don't think that I actually make like good voices to actually do voiceover work for like a character. Like I think it's like, like the little dumb voices that I do are like, just funny for stream. You're like, believe it! And like shit like that. But I don't feel like they're good enough to be a character. And I don't like really practice them. Like I've always just done like dumb little voices, like just as a fun thing because my dad does voices. Y'all have heard my dad before. He could do like Daffy Duck and stuff like that. So we've always just done like dumb voices kind of to annoy my mom anyway, but Absolutely, I would love to do voiceover work. I feel like that would be super cool. I feel like voicing a character and then like seeing that character come to life like in an animation or like seeing a Funko of it, I feel like that would be really cool. I feel like, and I feel like that's why Zeno is like living his best life. Who would I want to voice? Like what kind of character I would want to voice? Um, well, I mean like, I feel like the like the majority of the voices that I do are like bo like boy characters in the sense of like uh like Black Star or like Trunks like little like you little shit like that's the kind of voice like when I like do my little voices I feel like that's the the category it would get put in. Next one that we're doing is Angry Goat pepper. This is 5,800 Skullvilles. I also just ate 10 wings before this. So I'm scared of like getting full and being sick. So I figure this will be just good enough if I just like eat the flavor part of the wing. All right, all right. Angry goat, don't be mad at me. Okay, okay, okay. It's definitely spicier than the Frank's Hot. It gives you spice and then all of a sudden it goes into garlic and pepper. Hello, Kayla, I hope you're doing well. When you decide on your merch design, do you plan on doing just shirts, hoodies, or a whole outfit with alternative bottoms, shorts, joggers, skirts, and pants? But yeah, I wanna give y'all everything. I wanna give y'all shirts, hats, bags, socks, pants, everything. What are your future goals for content creation if you're open to sharing that? I mean, just like a couple things. Like I still want to obviously build up Twitch. I'm trying to build up Instagram, which I'm not Instagram, uh, YouTube goals with like cosplays. I feel like I'm getting towards that since I just got my 3D printer. So I really want to like get into like crafting and like really making cosplays that I didn't think that I was going to be able to make like when I first started. Like when I first started, I was like, there's no way that I'll ever be able to like make the berserker armor. And then bitch, here we are like three years later. And I'm like, you know what? That's a very real possibility. And like, I may do it this year. So I don't really have any like set goals in mind, but I just want to be able to go the furthest extent of of my creativity uh, as much as it can allow. So whatever idea that I come up with or have, I want to have the ability to create it, put it out, and it be received. Like if I want to make a mini movie, I want to be able to do that and have the platform to do that. So that's why I'm building up YouTube, doing crazy cool streams. That's why I want to build up Twitch. Then it's like, yeah, if I'm thinking of a cool idea, I have a place to do it. Hence why we're doing hot joints, you know what I mean? Like. Hello. I want to be like, wow, bitch, you really made that? Like, you went from cosplaying with a purple scarf and a fucking 60 watt light bulb to like a whole 100% made by you, edited by you, everything, like photo shoot looking thing. Ah! You know what I mean? 
So I just want to keep on impressing myself. The next one that we have is Biscuia, 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 Biscuia. I don't know how to say this, but this is supposed to be spicy sweet with passion fruits. Oh, bitch, it's got real fruit and low sodium. Ah! Oh my God, bitch, that's good because I still got a headache. And so we're jumping from 5,000 to 16,000. This is a little bit of a jump, okay? Shit. Let's go. <laughs> okay. This one is automatically sweet. It tastes sweet and fruity, and then all of a sudden it's hot. And there's a little bit of like afterburn. <laughs> what are your top three pieces of advice to someone who wants to get into cosplaying regularly? I would say firstly, just try, just cosplay within your means. It could get very, like cosplaying obviously could get very expensive, but I would say cosplay within your means. You know what I mean? You could do so many things on a budget. You can closet cosplay. You could get a lot of things from the dollar store. You could get a lot of things from a craft store, which are only like a couple dollars. I would definitely try to craft as much things as you can. Cause sometimes it's, cheaper that way if you can like sometimes like buying something is way more expensive than making it yourself like nanami's uh cleaver back there you could buy that on probably like amazon or something like that something like that is gonna go for like 30 to 40 dollars when it literally cost me like six dollars to make i used cardboard i bought gauze and i think that was like this the the six dollars got of sharpie that i had and just colored in all the markings and i just like used um regular like scott like tape and just colored it scribbled that all in black so if you can make Make something cost effective yes don't get caught up in like how other people cosplay things like cosplay things the way that you would want to um there's like no right way to cosplay things everything art is subjective and so is cosplaying so if you want to do a character I don't know with long hair curly hair or braids you can do that like whatever you want to do like so you don't have to like feel like you have to follow like a strict guide of something some people some people like to cosplay and like stick very close to that character sometimes i like that sometimes to me for a character there's no room for me to take creative liberties with because just the way this character is it's like i gotta keep it like that so and then sometimes if there's a character where you're like i could do so much with this character like Let's say if I cosplay Levi, I have to be Levi. Like I can't have long hair, I can't have lipstick, I'm not gonna have lashes. I'm gonna be on here making myself look like a dude, a serious little man. <laughs> on the contrast, how I did my Tengen cosplay, Tengen is a very flamboyant, playful character, which it makes sense if you could make his interpretation like of that cosplay a little bit more of a hyperbole of himself i made him with grills a body chain he had i made with bamboo earrings in each ear so and bedazzled eye and like all this other stuff and it's like does he have that no but it works because he's already flashy and he already does that so just do it the way that you want to do it and three i feel like just have fun just do it i see a lot of people that's like oh like i'm so stressed like i don't want to do it if it's gonna stress you out, then don't do it. <laughs> and I know for myself is like when I'm not having fun with something, that's when I'm not, that's when like my work isn't gonna be the best. We have this next one and I'm scared of it. Diablo, Filipino hot sauce power jab. It has a little boxing devil on the bottle. That's very concerning. Do you have veneers? No, I don't have veneers. Oh, I get it. It's Dijablo. Dijablo. Oh my God, I get it. Oh my God, I get it now. It's cause he's a boxer. I get get it oh i get it now i get it um this shit is a jab we're going up to fifty-five thousand scullies that is that's a little bit concerning <laughs> okay okay <laughs> I want to see how long I can go without milk. I'm good. I'm good. 
So I see where it gets the name, Power Jab. What other usernames did you consider before settling on Renegades? Before I even did content or even thought about doing content, I changed my name to Renegades. I think my name was like, hey, I think it was like something like Hey K0928 for my birthday. I changed it just because I watched Naruto. Obviously love Naruto. It's my like my one of my favorite anime. It's, if not, it's my favorite anime. I love Naruto. It's my favorite anime. JoJo's and Naruto is like this and Bleach. Um, so it's my favorite anime. So, oh my God, what was I saying? This shit is really sticking around. My eyes did water a little bit. I was like in my Naruto brain rot era, just like y'all are currently seeing me through my Naruto. I mean, my Jojo brain rot era. I just changed it to Run of Goddess because that's what they called Kaguya. And I was like, that is a fire ass at name. Like I'm gonna change it to this shit. So I actually didn't consider anything when I just started making content, I was just like, oh, yeah, okay, that works. Like, it's not my actual name. And I kind of saw other people in the anime community kind of just obviously, like, use, like, different types of at names. And I was just like, yeah, okay, like, I've already had it for this long, so I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> my belly is a little bit concerned. Marshall's hot sauce. It's whiskey smoke ghost. Uh-oh. Ghost chili? I feel like I should have a tum. I feel like I should have a tum on standby. Marshall's hoard is 71,000 scullies. Bone apple teeth? Lips first? I'm trying to bite shit like how Squidward took a bite of the Krabby Patty. Okay. <laughs> this one is different. Okay. Despite hell, oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. Um, if you could have one item from any anime, what would it be? I would pick the flying Nimbus. I would definitely pick the flying Nimb Nimbus. Unlike y'all diggers, I'm not evil. I'm sure that y'all would pick something like, oh, if you want to be, t I guess you could, you know, it is an item. I don't know. Like, or, well, I guess it's a power, but niggas were using it like an item. Like they were acquiring these and then using them like items, like in a game, like a Sharingan or something like that. Like I wouldn't use nothing evil like that. I wouldn't choose like, oh, like I would choose Aizen's Bankai. I would take his Anbakuto. Like I'm not an evil bitch. I would just want something that would take me to and fro and I'm not gonna have to pay for gas. Um, I'm not gonna even try to get an insurance policy on it. It's a fucking cloud. I'm pretty sure like insurance companies would even know how to take my flying Nimbus. Yeah, it's economical. I wouldn't have to worry about me like tearing up the fucking ozone layer. It seems very comfy. Again, it's a cloud. Um, from when I saw, you know, you could fit another small person on it with you. Um, so I'm going with the flying Nimbus. I could go to, fro, and then quickly at that through air. I don't have to obey traffic laws. Going on a Nimbus, going around on a flying Nimbus in Philly would be so fucking convenient. Are you kidding me? Just like I told y'all, I went down to Center City and fucking wasted $35 to see a crazy man's asshole and not even get a manga. I could have just took my flying Nimbus down there. I feel like my nose is running. <coughs> <coughs> I feel like I can't breathe through the left side of my nostril and I feel like my hearing has dropped in my left ear. Did your goat Tropic Star? This is a hundred and a hundred and ten thousand Skullvilles. If you don't like ginger, you're going to hate this. I'm talking about bitches that will, like me, that will drink like ginger kombucha. I'm talking about bitches that will like, when you make ginger tea, you're cutting up ginger and you're putting it in your tea. That very hot, bitter tinge that you get from ginger with no sweetness. If you don't like ginger, you're not gonna like it. It's not even hot, it stings. <laughs> Let, let's let's cleanse our palate. Ugh. It is milk. Oh, it just it won't stop. This is the longest that one is stuck around. It, it just it burns. Ah! Oh my god, bitch! Oh my god, I have to answer a question. Oh my god, I almost feel like I'm high. If you could speak 
three languages fluently right now, which ones would they be? Spanish fluently. I feel like I can understand Spanish way more than I could speak it. I feel like just living in Philly, it has, we have a very high population of just Spanish speaking people like Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Mexicans, like at least in Philly, more times than not, you're going to bump into like a Spanish speaking person. <clears throat> and I'm always having to be like, me no habla inglés, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Obviously I would want to learn Japanese. I feel like, <laughs> We're like all of us here, like just heavily like into like Japanese culture. Like we're always watching anime. We're always just like, you know, digesting Japanese culture. And I feel like it would just be really cool to speak and understand the language. Um, especially again, at least in Philly, we have a very big Asian population here. We have like, we're one of the few like cities left in America that has a Chinatown. So we have like a very high population of Asian people here. And in Chinatown, you can find like Japanese, Vietnamese, Chinese. Uh, we have a lot of Cambodian people here. We have a lot of Filipino people here. We have a very high uh, like Asian population. I'm always in Chinatown, bitch. I love Chinatown. Which all of these I'm trying to learn. I'm also trying to learn ASL. I feel like we should learn ASL in school. I feel like it's super important and not even if you're just like a deaf or hard of hearing person. I've just seen videos or like things where if you knew sign language, like people could signal if they're in distress or if they're in help and they can't verbally say something. Or even if you're like incapacitated it's to the point that you, you're you unable to speak. And imagine if you were, imagine how much could be cleared up if we could speak non-verbally to one another. I just think that's like so important. And I think that it really should be taught in schools. I feel like there's no reason why it shouldn't be taught in school because what is the point of having hard of hearing and deaf people learn ASL if the people they need to communicate that with don't know ASL. There, there are a lot of deaf and hard of hearing people like the every day that you run into and they have to work their way around us. And it's just like, if everybody just knew ASL, even like I said, you don't even have to use it for that. There's just so many situations that it would be beneficial if we could speak and communicate with one another non-verbally. And, um, but yeah, I've, all, I've also been trying to learn ASL tree. <laughs> all right, y'all, the bomb. Oh God. <sighs> the bomb is 135,600 Skullvilles. Look how it affected the wing. It made it, it made it even. <gasps> Um, plored, uh, pl pl I said plored, I mixed please and Lord together. <laughs> plored Jesus, you know, um, whoever's up there, uh, I almost cursed. I don't want to curse at you, but I, I hate to like ask you something stupid because I'm eating wings with the materials that you put on earth for us to even make something like this. So, I mean, honestly, like not saying that this sauce is your fault, but you kind of did give the keys to, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not blaming you. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not saying that this sauce is your fault. Please rest your hand on my shoulder. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my God, am I gonna throw up? I knew it was just ready. Ah! Oh my god, no. No. What are five characters that give off Black Air Force energy to you? I 
obviously one of them is Vegeta. I feel like he invented Black Air Force energy because he just don't give a fuck. The Godfather of not giving a fuck. Um, Kimpachi. Kimpachi don't give a fuck. He actually handicaps himself, so shit is actually fun for him. One of the only niggas I could think of that handicaps himself so he can make the fight interesting. Like, he's not even, like, trying to get stronger or anything. This is, like, pure fucking entertainment for him. They trade this nigga one day and said, that's enough. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh my god, I have a cramp in my leg! Why is that happening? This should maybe get a Charlie horse. Uh, Cell. Cell is another person that has black Air Force energy. Yeah, niggas, pull up. I'm trying to fight. Another one is Yusuke. When he said, he said, I don't care if she's a, a girl, baby, or, or a grandma, something. She an old lady. I'll still knock her out. <laughs> Toji, the last spot. He didn't break a sweat. He really, you know what I'm saying? He didn't care. He met, in a, you know, his, he met his maker. He met his, but for when he was alive, Bro, he didn't give a fuck. Anybody, you, what's the hit? All right, I got him. Tell me, get him, I got him. <laughs> it didn't matter. He would swap out his little, his little Fendi slides for them little Dragon Ball shoes. He got out of his little dick appointment suit, added them little Fendi slides, and then hopped into the little shit, you know what I'm saying, that like, uh, that Gon and Kila were trained in, when they, when they was training. They hopped into them shits. He hopped into that. With his with his little shoes and got it on and popping while he was there here. Honorable mention, Black Star. I feel like Black Star has a little bit of Black Force energy because he's ready to fight. He'll fight anyone to the point that it's like, all right, you may not be ready for all that. And he's just ready to mix it all times. I have one more. I have one more wing left. What? Oh my god, do I want to do this last one? When I ate that shit, I felt like I was about to throw up. This is Dawson's Hot Pot. This says that it's 620,000. 620, I'm gonna bite it. Maybe sick. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> My ears! I don't know why I'm like shivering. <laughs> <sighs> this is. I don't know what the fuck. Seven pot mashes. I didn't think it was pot. It, that's worse than that. This is this is like eating a hot chip. And it just completely like take oh, takes over. And I tried tried to swallow it quick. You feel it. I feel it in my chest. If you were to be a part of any K-pop girl group, which group would you choose? I was going to say Itzy. I'm like really in my like Itzy era right now. Y'all know that I loved the last comeback with Cake. I really loved Cake and I really loved that, that mini album. I feel like Cake was overhated. And y'all, we learned the Cake dance. That shit. Card, I love Card. Um, Their new comeback, Born to Be, they were like, oh, like, I don't like this song. Um, Untouchable is fire. Mr. Vampire is fire. All the solos are fire. The whole album is fire. Dynamite, like, it's so fucking good. And we love Leah. We miss Leah. You know? What my position would be? Bitch, obviously I'm the visual. Fuck out of here. I feel like with my like my dance background, I would probably be like a dancer. And then I feel like maybe like the rapper. Did I just get a fucking spasm in my leg? I would be the girl in the K-pop. In the, in the group, you know the one that always drops the cake? I would be always the one that drops the cake. That always gives like the side eye. I can only think of like Hyujin that does that. <laughs> Cause he's so sassy. Ooh, chow. Okay. 
<laughs> that wraps up um hot joints. Um, I should tell y'all what I got going on. Um, I'm on Twitch. Um, follow me on Twitch. I'm on YouTube. You can follow. You can follow me. You know here here. Um, Instagram. I'm working. Uh, you see, you can see Hermes's wig. We're I'm, we're doing Hermes next. We may. Catch us probably never again doing this. Um, kind of hitting my wall of spicy challenges. And I feel like over time, these are just completely disintegrating my taste buds and the lining of my stomach. I feel like I'm having an outer body experience right now. I feel like it's because all of these together are like giving me a contact high. Does that make sense for wings? No. A contact is, I ingested this. This is completely...